Good day, everybody. Dr. Tim Turlip here. Welcome to this week's installment of Three Minutes to Vitality. And this week, we're going to continue on what we talked about last week, which was indoor air quality. Something most of us don't think about. We mentioned a little bit about some people that we get lots of people who are very fastidious about their health in lots of ways and never give this a thought. And it's something that we need to actually think about. So a couple of highlights. There's a lot of details that we can get into that are just they're overblown, um, that we could actually keep it simple and do really well um, to actually improve our air, uh, indoor air quality. Remember, the EPA has recently come out and said that the standard house is between two to five times more, has more air pollution indoors than outdoors. Uh, remember that uh, New Mexico study that they did uh, eight or nine years ago, 10 years ago, and when they looked at hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of houses and found 580 some odd chemicals in these houses, including DDT and diazinon and stuff, outlawed pesticides that haven't been around forever, but they're in the air of these houses trapped inside and another 120 chemicals that they couldn't even identify. So indoor air quality becomes a real concern when it comes to our health. So let's hit on a couple of highlights that are simple, simple, simple solutions. A couple that aren't as simple, but most that are really simple. So the first we're just getting on is opening up the windows. We have such efficient homes today, both in heating and in cooling, that when they're so tight, all of the air keeps getting recirculated. So anytime there's a pollutant, anytime there's any of that stuff, it gets recirculated a long, long time. So opening up the windows, and it doesn't mean you have to open up the windows for half the day. So literally 15 or 20 minutes has been shown by research doing that three to four days a week um, to actually change that indoor air quality significantly. So that's a very simple one to do. Um, yes, sometimes um, if you're worried about heating and cooling, do it if it's for heat, do it at the hottest time of the day when you're heating. And when it's cooling, do it early in the morning or later in the evening. Same idea to minimize uh, any impact on the electric bill. Um, it's very, very simple. This sounds so, so goofy but take off your shoes when you get home because the bottom of our shoes get exceedingly contaminated with chemicals. Um, they found that actually with research again, the number of chemicals from petroleum to organophosphates to other pesticides and herbicides from lawns, etc., embedded in carpets um, from people in, in walking in shoes at homes where people don't wear their shoes, they find no traces at all. There are lots of other chemicals that we find. So the idea of, it's very simple. Just when you walk in, take off the shoes. Um, minimizes the impact of contamination through the flooring and the carpeting. Very, very interesting. Second, or third one rather, is actually to, uh, with our cleaning detergents for our washer and our dryer. Most of them are really, really hazardous, both our, our washing machine fluids, as well as the uh, uh, softeners, the liquid fabric softeners, as well as dryer sheets. They all contain compounds that when they become aerosolized or airborne, the EPA calls them carcinogens. When they're in the thing, nah, they're not carcinogens, right? Which is crazy, and that's why we get all those smells when we wash, etc. So very simply, get to gentle stuff. When it comes to washing, my favorite thing to use um, is something called Bodhi Nuts, B-O-D-I, Bodhi Nuts. Um, they actually have the fancy thing called saponins in them. They're from India. Get the whole nut that actually has the seed removed. Try them one time. I promise you, you're going to like them. Uh, there's no detergents or phosphates or anything else. Completely natural. And the instructions are on the, uh, on the back of these nuts. It seems very strange. They work beautifully. And then when you use those, you also don't need a fabric softener because they will naturally soften your clothes and keep the static cling down too. Um, amazing stuff. If you don't want to try a Bodhi nut, there's uh, uh, detergents that come from seventh generation are probably the simplest ones to keep all those uh, artificial chemicals and smells and things that get into the clothes that we want to make sure. So keep it simple when it comes to dryer sheets. Don't use them at all. And if you use the Bodhi nuts, you'll see you won't need to. Um, same thing that goes with uh, liquid fabric softeners. Dry cleaning. We also want to make sure that if we do dry clean our clothes, um, there's chemicals on there. We're not going to get into the fancy names, but are very, very hazardous, exceedingly hazardous, known to be carcinogenic, cause pulmonary problems, uh, endocrine disruptors, just the weird chemicals. So if you have to do dry clean, take it out of the bag, leave it out in the garage, preferably leave the garage door open um, for a couple of days. Hang it someplace that's well ventilated outside of the house for a couple of days before you bring it in and put it into your closet. Um, so I deliberately, my dress slacks, it's very difficult to find slacks. 
that actually don't uh, require dry cleaning, you can find them um, so I can wash it at home in, in simple stuff so I don't get all those chemicals. Um, not a big deal. The other, and this one is actually challenging most of our thoughts uh, when it comes to um, a clean house. Um, is actually not using the, the uh, gentleman who will come in for pests um, to actually eliminate the use of pesticides in the house. It, it sounds crazy because people say, I have to. You'll be amazed at how little you need to do to actually uh, not have to use pesticides. It's amazing. Um, we mentioned organophosphates a little bit before. There are many of them that when we go in, the guy sprays it, they go, don't touch the baseboards. When the baseboard's dry, then supposedly they're, they're safe. But again, with the tightness of our homes, the spray gets in, it circulates through the house, and it is all over the place. I'm getting so excited, I'm knocking stuff down, right? It's all over the place when it comes to um, uh, the circulation of the air. So we wanna make sure that we're not using that. Believe it or not, um, we live in Florida, um, obviously as most of you who are listening to this do, um, and we don't do it. Uh, the only thing that we do occasionally is put a peripheral sprinkle. Um, we have the pest guys come and they put a peripheral sprinkle of granular stuff around the periphery of the house. Um, and that's only done a couple of times a year. Um, nothing is done inside and we have no bug problem um, whatsoever. So we can mitigate and eliminate that chemical, expo chemical exposure to our family and not welcome the bug guy into sprays my, my baseboards and my light sockets and my electrical sockets um, every month. It, it's kind of crazy and we want to make sure that we're doing that. The other thing is with HVA systems. My favorite is actually using a HEPA. It's the least expensive. Filters are a little more expensive, but they only have to be changed once a year. Then we don't have to use indoor filters. Um, and they do a great job. Costs several hundred dollars to put that filtration system in line near your air handler, um, but then does a much better job of eliminating. My favorite one of all is actually an electrostatic filter um, to put on in line with your air handler as well. Cleans not only the particulate matter, but takes chemicals out of the air and really helps to eliminate that inside. But again, if you just open your windows, we don't have to go to all that expense. So that's it for indoor air quality. We'll hit some other things on detergents and how those affect us on our indoor air quality in the next time and alternatives to that to keep it really, really simple. So that's it. Look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for watching.